Happy Father's Day to all you fur dads out there on this little blue planet. Hopefully you get to enjoy some lunch beers with your steak. I can't wait for mine. I know what you're thinking. Sadie you're not a dad. Duh. But you can be as sure as a Barbie doll riding a barracuda that my Neanderthal of a father will share with me. Not because he loves me. But because he knows that if he doesn't. I will totally poo in his shoe and make his 24-hour day feel like a week-long nightmare. Wait until you hear what we did for him this morning. He was in the shower so we had plenty of time to get his gifts around. I think it takes him a while to find the soap. LOL. Cavemen. You can lead them to a bar of soap but you can't expect them to know how to use it. So my puppy Leo ate a stink bug. Two pine cones one stick and some very nice long grass and threw up in the kitchen which I think is a very nice gift. It was made with love. My sister Sasha stole one of dad's credit cards and ordered 241 pounds of bully sticks, which is definitely suspicious, but we don't question her. That little cotton ball with teeth will go full werewolf on you in 2.7 seconds and she'll have you wishing you had never said anything. Seriously, she should have been on the TV show Sopranos. Are you ready for what I can only describe as the best gift he's ever received? I decided since he is the best stupid dad in the entire universe that I would give him one of my new favorite dead squirrels. You should have seen the look on his face when he first saw it at the foot of the door. He looked just like a kid at Christmas, but was soon followed by a shrill scream, which is odd because there were no women in the room. It was at that point that there was an unfortunate turn of events, or perhaps a bonus gift. My favorite dead squirrel either turned into a zombie or wasn't dead at all, which is quite good acting I must say but if anything good comes out of this video it will at least serve as a public service announcement, to always verify your wildlife has been in alive before you bring it inside. My human brother Nick came running in to see my cool gift, at the same time they said, Sadie brought a possum in the house, I'm not sure what a possum is. I just thought he was an ugly squirrel that needed hair extensions for his tail. Picture a squirrel possum waddling through a house with two humans, three dogs and one cat chasing after it and you've just pictured the chaos that is our home. Everyone was suddenly reminded of Leo's vomit in the kitchen as they all went sliding through it. Needless to say my dad got to take a second shower. If he thought that was fun just wait until my next surprise. I'm totally going to take my puppy Leo for a walk and get him out of my dad's hair for a while. Hopefully we can catch a ride home with the cops again, but of course they never have a camera crew with them. How am I supposed to get my endorsement with Cheez-Its if I can't get a little air time? That would be so cool to not only be on my favorite TV show Cops, but to also have my very own commercial for my favorite snack on my show, A Girl Can Dream. Peace out Girl Scout. Sadie out.